and he tells me yes that there is a that there is the possibility of being able to find a certain amount of money in the range of maybe forty, fifty thousand dollars in that range. Okay, and if the district commissioner is comfortable with that, you know, if Marty, if um, Mr. Margulies, if you're still willing to do that as a match, I mean, I just want to because it's your district and I'm trying to respect it. If, I, you if know. It, it isn't about my district. It's okay. about saving a center. Okay. And if so, the city, if the city has that ability, you know, I'm more in favor of doing it. I, I, I want you to know that when I went to, to our community development department and I wanted to trade my economic development dollars for my social service dollars, I was told I couldn't do it. I said I was told it just couldn't be done. And then when I suggested that anything I wanted to do couldn't be done. Now, the mayor and the city manager only went out there last Friday, and the, and the city manager has yet to get back to me, and we were supposed to meet next week and go through whatever plan that could be mustered to figure out what monies could be transferred, because all dollars are restricted. You know that, and I know that. Well, I just want to add, because I, I never had a chance to go to St. Albans, and the first time that I got a chance to visit, it was with um, Commissioner Sarnoff when we were doing the district um, ride, so I had an opportunity to visit, and the school is a beautiful school. Um, I'm the only mommy up here and that has a three-year-old child, so I understand how important it is to have good daycare services for kids. So, and I think Commissioner Sanchez has a six-year-old boy. So the commission's all in support of making something happen, and I think the, the purpose of you coming today is there's an immediate need. I think that you have Commissioner Regalado that has brought it up, I think you have commissioner, um, um, the commissioner of that district is now saying that he's in support of it. Now we're just going to ask that the city manager um, comes back to the next meeting because I understand that my chairman, we do not deal with money items on our blue pages, but if you could please come back to the next um, city commission meeting with that dollar amount. And Commissioner Sarnoff, do you want to bring that on your, well, you can't bring it on your blue page. No, no, I'd like to bring it as a discussion item, one that's capable of voting off of it to find out what special events have not been, that are allocated but not funded, that we can defund and mm -hmm. put towards a, uh, put towards the school. Yeah. All right. I, want, I want to be on the record that from the community development uh, perspective, they don't have any dollars available. Uh, not, you know, they don't the, have what? There are no dollars available for oh, community I, development. You said, you said, well, we're if they to came up there and told you that now, then that would be a direct contrary no, they, statement. They don't have any more rights. They don't. What we're doing here is trying to look at other sources. The commissioner suggested the special events and to look there to see if we have lesser expenditures than anticipated and see if we can round up enough money to be able to yeah, have At least give them some relief kind of at amount. this point. That's the point. And I think that we all want to do that, give them some relief. And I do agree that there needs to be an overall endowment plan or something put in place immediately to assist you. So I don't want to, like, throw the other thing away, but I'm, I want to help the school right now, and I'm sure that's what you are trying to do here. So I, I don't know if you want to bring it back as a discussion. You want to bring it back as a discussion item as, at the next meeting, or if he's able to find it, then bring it as a... Well, I'd like to bring it as a resolution. If okay. Good. All right. I'll, I'll confirm with budget and get back to all of you and let you know what the situation is. Thank you. Please, please do. All Thank right. So okay. I want to take this opportunity to invite all <laughs> to support the uh, St. Albans. They're having uh, in the Grove Art Stroll on Sunday which is uh, this Sunday, March the 16th. So if all those that are watching home, that are watching on TV, it would be a good event to go and maybe help out the organization. That's on, on Guilford Lane? Gifford. 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 Gifford and what's the cross? Gifford and Oak or Gifford or Alum. Um, Gifford and Oak is really it. Yeah. Is it? It's Oak and Day. Okay. Yeah, Day, right. So we'll invite all those to attend the event. And help all them. proceeds are going to yeah. St. Albans. All right, thank you. Okay, let's, uh, let me just, if you would allow me just uh, an opportunity here, because uh, I have to try to get control of these meetings. This item should have been a personal appearance. I'm going to ask you very nicely again. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I did not know that people were going to show up. But it, it's, it's fine. People could show up on a No, 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 but I, I, I did not invite I, I, anyone. I this is a public hearing, people, but it and needs to be on the agenda because, you know what, we're going to start having different organizations now 
coming in front of us with all these state cuts in Tallahassee and the federal government, and there are a lot of organizations out there that are hurting, and they're going to be you're opening up the floodgate, and every one of them has a reason and a valid argument as to be looking for money because the federal government is not, not sending it down to the state or the city. The state continues to cut our, our, our budget, and we're the ones local which have to deal with the people, and we have to sit here and go, you know what, you're absolutely right. We got to find a way to help them out, but we got to be honest with the people. We can't lie to people. The money is limited, and we have to make sure that we do fund great organizations that are able to provide. The ones that are not providing, they shouldn't get any money. So I just want to tell you that next time that we bring this up, you can invite anybody as long as you go through the process. We can have all the personal appearances you want. We can have five or six commission meetings Monday through Friday if you want. But when we go to the, the discussion items, it's a discussion item brought by the commissioner. It's got nothing to do with you. Uh, we're glad to have you. It's just a process that we're trying to establish here. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have a crisis. Whether people want to accept it or not, things are going to get much, much worse. And you're going to have great organizations struggling looking for money, whether it's through the private sector or their government, and they all come down here to City Hall, where local government is the one that you can reach, unless you want to get on a plane and go to Tallahassee and speak to your senator or your representative or fly to Washington and see your, your congressman or your senator, I think your best bet is to drive down to City Hall where odds are you'll run into your elected official and he'll give you the time of day. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Um, Commissioner Regalado does not have an item. Uh, you have I just item? have a pocket item. But... Well, pocket items will come in at the end. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mark, you recognize for your item? 